In this video, we'll be solving this radical equation involving the square root of x minus 1 over x and the square root of 1 minus 1 over x. One solution for this one, of course, is to expand the equation or remove the square roots by squaring both sides. That step, however, could involve some tedious operations. And so for this video, I will discuss a nice trick that we can use when we are dealing with these kinds of equations. Now let's consider the given as the square root of x minus 1 over x plus the square root of 1 minus 1 over x equals x. We can multiply both sides by the conjugate of the radical. That is, the square root of x minus 1 over x minus the square root of 1 minus 1 over x. When we do this, the left side would be a difference of squares. That would be the square root of 1 minus 1 over x, or that's x, minus uh, 1 over x squared minus the square root of 1 minus 1 over x squared. The right side would be x times <coughs> x minus 1 over x, excuse me, minus square root of 1 minus 1 over x. The left side would simplify to x minus 1 over x minus 1 minus 1 over x. The right side will leave as it is. 1 minus 1 over x. Now the left side, we will have here common terms between the two terms. So that should uh, cancel out. So if we do that, we get just uh, x minus 1 on the left side. So, we have here x minus 1 equals x times, let's just, for, for simplicity's sake, let's call this, uh, let's call this thing here m and this as n. So that the right side of our uh, last line will be x, uh, x times m minus n. We write this by dividing both sides by x we get m minus n is equal to x minus 1 over x. We can further simplify that as 1 minus 1 over x. Note that if we go back to the given equation, we can substitute again m and n to simplify it. So we have here m plus n equals x. And so at this point, we have an equation with Two unknowns if we consider m and n. That is m plus n equals x and m minus n equals 1 minus 1 over x. Now if we add this equation or these equations, the n will cancel out. And that should leave us with just 2m equals x plus 1 minus 1 over x. Now let's bring back the definition of m, that is the square root of x minus 1 over x, and then regroup the right side as x minus 1 over x plus 1. Now let's make another substitution to simplify our writing. Let's use k equals the square root of 1 minus, sorry, that's um, x minus 1 over x. And so the left side would be 2k is equal to x minus 1 over x is the square of the square root of x minus 1 over x. So that would be equivalent to k squared plus 1. We write this, we get k squared plus 1 equals 2k. Uh, sorry, uh, I just rewrote it um, badly. So the left side will be 0 if we put the uh, 2k on the right side. And then the right side would be k plus 1 quantity squared, or quantity, uh, k minus 1 quantity squared, equal to 0. We solve this by getting the square root of both sides. This should give us k minus 1 equals 0, or simply k equals 1. Therefore, we have reduced our equation to just uh, k equals 1, and our k here is x minus 1 over x.
So we have here k equals 1. And then we substitute the definition of k, which is the square root of x minus 1 over x. To solve for uh, x, we have to square both sides to eliminate the square root. And we will get x minus 1 over x is equal to 1. Thus, the original equation, the original complicated radical equation, just simplify it to this simple uh, rational equation. We can solve this by multiplying both sides by x to make the left side x squared minus 1 and the right side as x. We write this to simplify as x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. And we can use whatever method we're comfortable with. For example, we can use quadratic formula to solve for x. So x equals the negative of b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. Of course, this simplifies to 1 plus minus square root of 5 over 2. Therefore, the possible values of x are um, 1 plus minus square root of 5 all over 2. We just have to check if both of these are actually solutions, whether or not one of them is an extraneous solution. Note that since we are dealing with radical equation, extraneous roots are pretty common. So we go back to the original equation, that is this thing here. We have to check if both of them are uh, okay to use. And the most common reason why or the most common reason why we have square roots or extraneous roots is that they do not fit in the domain of uh, the radical terms. Remember that the radical, the radical terms or the radicand of the radical terms should be greater than or equal to zero. Otherwise, we will be, we will be dealing with complex numbers. So uh, let's go back and we write this as x minus 1 over x plus the square root of 1 minus 1 over x equals x. Note that if we are considering x equals 1 plus minus, uh, 1 plus, plus, plus square root of 5 all over 2, we will have no problem with both of these ones because both of them are uh, positive. And moreover, uh, 1 plus square root of 5 is greater than um, 1 plus square root of 4 over 2, which is 1 plus 2 over 2 equals 3 over 2 equals 1.5. So because this is greater than 1, we are assured that 1 over x is less than 1, and therefore this is uh, this term here is positive. So we will have no issues there. Therefore, we have x equals 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 as definitely a solution. Now let's consider the other case when uh, x is equal to the negative side. x equals 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. We will use the same ap um, approximation as earlier. This will be greater than 1 minus 2 over 2. And this is greater than um, negative one half. Now, if this is the case, the right side uh, here would be a negative number, and we don't want that because we are adding two positive terms here. So, this negative term here is not okay. Of course, I, I forgot to mention that if we plug this in here, it will be okay because it's uh, it's 1 minus a negative number. So that, that would be a positive number. So it fits the domain. The real concern here is on the right side because uh, x should be positive. And if this is a negative number, then, uh, then we, 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 we don't have this as a solution. I hope, uh, hope that, that uh, checking is clear. Anyway, we have here the only solution as x equals the positive root, which is 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And this is our final answer.
again what we did here is to use uh, the conjugate that's why I, I referred to this trick as the conjugate method so by using this conjugate method we have avoided squaring both sides of this rational or radical equation okay i hope you learned something from this video thank you for watching and please subscribe for more content